from DDP Studios. We're here on a Friday night at Dundas West, just west of Brock Street at the Spring Fling at the Roseville Studios here on Dundas Street. I believe it's going on all weekend, so we've got all kinds of activities going on. We've got musicians, we've got belly dancers, we have flamenco dancers, so come on in. In fact, uh, there's Maria from National Velvet. Yeah, okay, okay, so hi, this is Joe from DDP Studios. Uh, we're joining you from uh, Dundas Street West at the Rosewell Studios here at the Spring Fling. I'm joined with Maria, who was one of the lead singers from one of the most incredible bands from the 80s, and I know that they're still playing around the city, so if you get a chance, check them out, this National Velvet. But Maria was telling me that she's been living in the hood for a while, and this is her second art opening tonight, because apparently there are art galleries all over the Dundas West uh, area. So, uh, Maria, welcome. How are you? I'm pretty good, Joe. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, we haven't spoke for many years. We've just run into each other. And so, Maria, you're living in the neighborhood. How does it feel to live in a neighborhood where there's like so much art going on and there's so many cafes and restaurants? And It just feels like uh, Toronto as usual. Um, I've been here since 1965. I remember the old Yorkville uh, era. Yeah. I was little, little, but my parents are, you know, were Spaniards, were artists, were musicians, dancers, workers, <laughs> crazy, um, fun loving. And uh, it, to me, it, it's very reminiscent of what Toronto's always been and always, uh, and always stood for. Uh, Toronto is so rich in our talent and in the love and you know, there's nothing that brings communities together better than art, music, and beautiful things. Oh, there we go, the Parkdale Food Community Bank. There we go, Food Bank. Um, so, you know what, when we were kids... Thank you. <laughs> and when we were kids and you had your warehouse space on Carroll Street, and you guys used to do everything it was to pack your house on a Friday and Saturday night. You always invited everybody back so you guys could be playing. I remember you were a cigarette girl at the Copa, as well as RPM, which of course is now the government, everybody. But way back when. So do you find that the artists today, that they're, they're as creative as far as like representing themselves? Or do you think that it's just kind of like stayed the same and it's up to the curators and the managers to do that stuff? Like, what do you think about like the arts community and how people represent themselves? I think that it takes everybody to come together. Um, number one, it starts with the art. It has to be honest and uh, and what, whatever it is. Um, and you need not a, not every artist is uh, is comfortable self-promoting themselves. So if you can connect with somebody that's a good manager, a good a uh, everybody. It takes everybody. It's like for me in the music industry, if we didn't have a great team of people in as far as management. A company that supported us, and uh, it, it it was such a collective. There's no such thing as a five-member band. You know, it takes everybody okay, yeah. to specialize in what they specialize in. And as long as you encourage that and allow people to specialize what they do specialize in, um, it's going to move forward. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. That's that's very reasonable. That's really reasonable. So now, living on the west end of the city, and again, like you see all kinds of artists, and there's all kinds of musicians and whatever, on a, a regular weekend, do you find yourself inside, or are you outside wandering around looking to see what's local? I can't stand being inside. Oh, yeah. Like, even in the wintertime, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. I love being outside. I just love wandering around. Um, I'm not a great plan maker when it comes to my form of entertainment. I like to just get dressed, head out the door, let it open. Because it, it is open to all of us. Yeah. You just got to go and search it. And there's a vibe to it. Yeah, there's no, an absolute life. The West End. Yeah, you know, and uh, it's like you, I think that um, artist communities and people in general gravitate towards each other because that's why we're all here. Yeah, no, you know? I agree, I agree, I agree. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You should be here in the West End on a Friday night at the Rosewell Studio. This is Joe from DDP Studios. Maria, thank you so much. Ah, if you get a chance, check out National Velvet because they're still playing everywhere. I don't know how crazy she is on stage, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty crazy. So again, this is Joe from DDP Studios. Thanks, everybody.
GDP Studios Incorporated. We make thinking fun.